Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and one of the things that our office is committed to is making sure that we bring justice to the families of those who have been victims to crimes in Queen Anne's County. It's hard to believe that on August 24th, 1992, 27 years ago, Herman Dolly Callahan was gunned down in the entrance of his home. Hi, I'm Detective Steve Matthews of the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office, assigned to the Criminal Investigation Unit, and I'm doing a follow-up on the cold case of Herman Dolly Callahan. That morning, it was apparently a foggy summer morning. Um, an employee at the Department of Correction was driving to work that morning, and she observed Mr. Callahan laying on the stoop in front of his home. Of course, this was 1992 before everyone had a cell phone. So she doubled back and went to the Shell Station to report that she saw a man on the stoop and she thought he may have had a heart attack or some kind of medical issue. Nothing was taken from Mr. Callahan. Mr. Callahan was known to carry large amounts of cash, which he still had on his person at the time his body was located. Mr. Callahan's truck when located only less than a mile from the scene at the National Guard Armory, still had Mr. Callahan's checkbook and all of his personal papers. I believe that just about anyone who knew Mr. Callahan was a suspect, I believe that Mr. Callahan knew the person that killed him. I firmly believe that it was possibly someone who worked for Mr. Callahan or who he had dealt with at one of his properties or the farm. Mr. Callahan came to the door. He was not known to just let open the door for anyone. The door was unlocked and he had opened the door. We further believe that he knew who came to the house. I don't believe that mo robbery was a motive because he had money in his pockets at the time. We believe that there's somebody in the community that knows who killed Mr. Cowhead. So any tips that you have, we would appreciate you call the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff. The family of Mr. Callahan has been waiting 27 years for closure in this case and want to know what happened to their father. I'm actually here with the daughter of Herman Dolly Callahan and I'm here with Dolly Ann Callahan Goad. Right. And I wanted to just one, tell you how sorry I am and how sorry the community is genuinely about the loss of your dad. And some things you can tell us about your dad? Well, this whole tragedy has been really hard on the family with everything that's going on and not knowing who's out there and who's did it. And I just can't believe no one has come forward. I mean, there was a lot of people that liked my father, a lot of people that have come up to me. We have racehorses, and there, I can't tell you the people that also have are in a cattle business have come to me and said, your father was a wonderful person. We really miss him. And I, it's, it's just hard to cope with. It's really been rough. And your dad was very prominent in the cattle community. Your dad was very well known yes. with the community as far as he was a landlord did a lot yes. of the tenant yes. stuff. He had, had a uh, liquor store also, and he had several rental properties. Um, he was uh, well known at Felton Sale Barn. He got up to Mannheim, New, New Holland, New Jersey. He, he got around a lot of places. He was well known everywhere. So it's really important that if somebody sees this and knows somebody in the Felton area or Mannheim area, Yes. Any little bit of information is what we're yeah. asking. Anything, just anything. If anybody could just come forward and anything that somebody's got to say, they, they heard something, they saw something that morning. I know it was a very foggy morning, but someone had to see that truck leave Dad's property, that house that morning, and for it to be parked over there to the National Guard Armory. So close. It was close. It was very close. And, yeah. You know, the, the thing is, somebody out there knows something, and 20 years has gone by and I'm sure somebody would like to clear their conscience and you know just give information to help us solve this case. Uh, somebody there, you know, somebody else was there, somebody saw something and knows something and look I want to tell you how I'm very thankful that you came here tonight. Yes, I, know I finally got to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got to meet you other than yes. talking on the phone. Yes. But you know the one thing I can say is is that the support that you bring by coming up here to the fair. Thank you yes. again, and we're going to do everything we can to help you with this. Okay. Right? Thank you. As always, I want to thank all of our viewers on QAC TV 7 and throughout Queen Anne's County for all of your information and your trust that you have in local law enforcement. You can always send us that anonymous tip or use our new app to send us information. We're really hoping to bring closure to this family for that tragic homicide that occurred 27 years ago. Remember, anything that you have, even the slightest little tip, can be something that can bring this case to a close.
Again, thanks to all our viewers for watching QAC TV 7, and a special thanks to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners for bringing this program to you.